So let's say that we want to have a voice attack respond in a particular context. So for our increase shield power command, uh, we don't want to have just the yes sir or whatever. Uh, let's say we want to have voice attack actually give us kind of a smart uh, response. So we go to uh, set a text value. We can actually send and we'll do confirm event. Right, make sure that we copy that over. And we're going to pass the value shields. Make sure I spell that right. And we're going to save that to the profile. So, confirm event shields. There we go. We make sure that's set before we execute the confirm request command. And then as we go in on the confirm request command, let's build some conditions. So first off, we're going to write if the variable confirm event has not been set. Okay. Now, if that's the case, we're going to take this entire block and move it in there. So if we don't have a confirm event being passed, it'll just go through our random default responses. Now we can add and say we want to add an else condition. So if it hasn't been set there, but if it has been set, we're going to do a certain group of things. So here we're going to do another conditional. So the text confirm event. And if that equals shields, then inside this block, we're going to have Windows do something, uh, voice attack do something. So we're going to do text to speech. All right, so adjusting shield priority. We'll see how that sounds. Okay, and then at the very end, we're going to make sure that the text value for confirm event we're going to clear the variable value, so we're going to unset it. That's going to allow us, uh, and also let's make sure this is saved to the profile as well. That's going to allow us uh, to use multiple confirmations. It won't require uh, a different confirmation each time, or it won't remember uh, if we have a specific context versus non-specific. So let's go ahead and give that a try. Increase forward shield power by 35%. So, Windows recognized that as again, we saw the forward it loops seven times. We got uh, seven times that keybind, and uh, everything seemed to work there. Uh, we can do that same thing if we want to balance shields, right? And actually, this one doesn't have a confirmation, so that'll be a nice uh, addition. So, the confirm event is shield. And we'll actually name this one separate, so shield balance. Then we'll also make sure that it executes that confirm. Hit OK. And make sure that we program this over here. So we've got that group. We're going to go ahead and duplicate it. And this is shield balance, if I remember correctly. Make sure that the values match exactly. And we'll have it say balancing shield priority. That'll be fine. Balance shields. All right. Now, one last piece here. We do have the full power to shields that actually calls the balance shields command directly. So the problem is we're going to get duplicate commands as we try that, or duplicate confirmations. And just to demo, I'll show that. Full power to forward shields. Yeah. So it kind of stumbled all over itself, and that's where uh, we'd want to make sure that we uh, we make sure these commands are executed properly. We can either A, remove this, replace it with just a key press, right, which would work just fine. Or uh, if we have a separate library of those key binds, that's where it would work much better. So what we'll do on the full power two is we'll do the same thing. We'll just add 
be a confirm event and this will be shields like the others hit OK and now that should work full power to forward shields okay uh, you'll notice there was a slight delay it's because it has to go through that loop first uh, if we wanted to adjust that so it confirmed first all we would need to do is move these last two commands all right so the confirm event and then the execute command move those up to the very top and uh, that'll be a lot crisper